What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Yes, I was about to say why or something. I don't know, guys. A little tired. Not really. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through this route, I believe, Route 120, just to defeat a few trainers. Now, we're going to be moving on to Veilstone City. We got lots of stuff to do, guys, and uh, if you come in here, this is a small cafe where you can battle a butt-ton of trainers. And I mean a butt ton. So here we go, taking on Waitress Katie. And, uh, well, she's gonna be coming out with her Clefairy right here. And. Wait, did, did I pick the right Pokemon? Eh, Starblade's a good Pokemon right here. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Yes, we are coming out more frequently with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond because. Yeah, your boy kind of forgot to do a full uh, month's episode and all that stuff. And yes, I kind of changed the the whole um, the schedule for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We are now doing two episodes per week. That way, you know, it gives me time to record in advance just for everything else. Because as many of you guys already know, March is coming up, and uh, well, by the time well by the time this hits, March has already come, and well, your boy gets busy around March. So. Never hurts to be prepared, right? I guess. And, well, as you guys can see, Starblade has learned a new move, and that is Aerial Ace. This one is the same uh, the same uh, power as Wing Attack. The only thing, the only difference is it's very, very accurate. It will never miss. So we're going to be switching Wing Attack for that. And, well, the Waitress has been defeated. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So let's put this microphone right here, if you guys can hear me. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. How you doing? What you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk is 500 Poke Dollars. Yes. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? You can buy a dozen for five, uh, 5,000. So let's go right ahead and do that just in case. Uh, or 10. 10 for 5,000. Yeah, this calculate. It, it, it's something. And, well, we're not going to have more. We're not going to get some more right here, so... As you guys can see, you can battle every single one of these people, and I would I do recommend battling everybody because, well, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl, yeah, they're they're making you work for the experience points and all that stuff. And uh, well, ears are like this. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, some of you guys have wondered why do I like why do I wear my thing slightly to the left and all this and that. It's mainly because I do like to hear myself. This isn't like the, uh, what was the, uh, this, what was it called, uh, what was the microphone that I have? It's a much better microphone than this, but this connects to my Fafine stuff, and the, the, the quality of it is uh, good. Uh, what was it called? The, the Yeti. Yeah, I had a, well, I still have a Yeti microphone. Right there, you can actually hear properly, but because this microphone here attaches to a little soundboard that I have, I kind of had to. I kind of had to sacrifice quality for quantity or whatever it is. And oh my god, I, I didn't even pay attention that we're taking on a pseudo wudo. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> Starblade's looking at me. He's like, "What are you doing?" Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to Hydra. Holy buckets, my bad. Yeah, Starblade's looking at me like. <laughs> Okay, so here is Hydra, and well, as you guys can see, we're lowering the attack, and here comes another wood hammer. This right here is not going to be super effective at all. So, let's go right ahead and use Hydra's Waterfall. For the win! Oh, yes. Sudowoodo is never, never going to be the same again. And, well, this gives us more points, and we're going to be taking another Sudowoodo, so let's go ahead and continue with... You know, good old Hydro right here. So let's go. Hydro or Water Gut or Waterfall. Yes. Waterfall for the win. And just like that, we are victorious. And, well, this guy seems to love Pseudo Wu a lot. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Another Waterfall for the win. And there you go. Pseudo Wudo has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Right, and well, Collector Edwin has, he is not happy. Yes, he's gonna be showing some respect. We're gonna be battling everybody in here, guys, because, well, we do need the experience points and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh, look at that, his name is Fernando. And he's coming out with a Mr. Mime. So, anywho, um, I've already said this before. 
Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl, not my favorite games in the series, mainly because of, well, just a lot of things. Like, the chibi form, it, it, it really, yeah, chibi form really didn't do me, like, it didn't really impress me with the chibi form. Uh, TMs became limited. Uh, experience points, of course. It, like, I guess they held back on the experience points, so you have to work for it and stuff. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do like a challenge and all that stuff, but, you know, your boy doesn't have a lot of time to train, so he needs a little bit of a boost. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm adulting. I really am. And, well, look at that. Hydra grows level 26. And here comes another Mr. Mime, so I'm just gonna continue on with our good old buddy, uh, Smoke. Alrighty, so here we go, Shadow Ball for the win, or Shadow Punch, and uh, yes, this Mr. Mime has just been defeated. Yeah, there, and then, um, you know, I played this game in its entirety, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and trust me, there's just a lot of things that, you know, I'm just picking on, nitpicking and everything. I mean, everybody has the same kind of deal or something else, but I'm just saying, guys. They could have done better. I hope in uh, the the Unova region, the games that will be coming out for the Unova region, I hope they do uh, them better, especially with uh, the X and Y remakes that I don't know when we'll be getting them, but hopefully they'll be better too and expand upon the story of, you know, the those three Pokemon. And look at this, my Pokemon grow to level 30 and somebody is learning Nightshade. And I am getting a text message yet again. Holy buckets. And, oh, never mind. Okay, so, nice shade. This move is, the user makes a target see frightening image, uh, Mirage. It inflicts, it, uh, inflicts damage equal to the user's level. Let's see, relentless attack, massive damage to a status condition. Affected by a status condition, huh. You know what, let's go ahead and take away uh, Hex. It really, I haven't really used it much. Uh, there are much more better, uh, what was it, uh, ghost type moves. And, well, Fernando defeated. He is not happy right now. Yeah, deal with it. Okay, so that's another trainer down, and I do have to switch up Pokemon because, well, your boy Starblade right here is not liking me right now. Actually, hasn't liked me. He's been looking at me, he's like, seriously, bro? You're making me battle a goddamn pseudo Udo. All right, so let's go straight for let's go straight for Monfernomon. I think he deserves it. Let's battle this guy, youngster. You've seen the Psyduck huddled outside. Psyduck are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. That kind of sucks. All right, does this guy want to battle? Howdy, traveler. Some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle, but pay it no mind and stay a while. Well, I've already battled everybody. And, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Here we are in Route 210, going into Route 215. And right here, you're going to be finding a lot more trainers. And, well, there is a type there is a type disadvantage. Unfortunately, Monfernamon is a fire-type Pokemon. It is currently raining. Any kind of fire-type moves is just going to be, you know, affected right here. So, we're going to be battling with Hydra. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we are taking on Ruin Maniac Calvin. And he is coming out with a Bronzor. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Hydra. Let's get Hydra to win. And here comes Hydra with an Intimidate. And, well, your attack has fallen down. Let's go straight for a Crunch attack right here. And that Crunch attack does us good. Alrighty. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, well, let's see. He's going to be coming out with a shield on. I, I'm i going to stay with the Hydra because, well, it's raining. It's boring. That Pokemon is about to be snoring. Let's go. Waterfall attack for the win. And just like that, shield on. Has it sturdy. Holy buckets. Okay. So here comes a taunt attack. He's just being like... <laughs> all right. Let's go with the waterfall. See what that does. And there we go. Shield on has been defeated. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And that gives us a little bit more of a boost right there. And, well, he can't win, but we're getting some monies right here, which is always great, guys. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Here we are going to find ourselves a an ether. And 
slow down and stop at times. Sure, I'm only human after all. Hmm, true. Very, very true. And, well, there's a Kung Fu guy right here. Uh, a Karate guy or something like that. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight back to Starblade. And... Let's see. Do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you want uh, want that in real life, there'll be no end for, uh, of the fighting. That's for sure. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the TM66. Look at that. TM66. Use it after an opponent. Its power gets doubled. All right. So let's move on. And it looks like we're going to be going up against a karate guy right here. And we do not need a cut technique right here. So let's go right ahead and use that. And our lord and savior, uh, Bidoof, is going to, you know, cut that. And yes, there's always a catch. God dang it. I was snoozing. You claim? I merely fainted into sleep. Okay, so this guy is pretending to sleep. So here we are taking on Black Belt Gregory. And, well, he is going to be coming out with his meta type. You just love how he throws that thing. It's pretty hilarious. So here we are taking on meta type. And we got ourselves our Star Blade. And, yes, the Intimidate is going to work on this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and use an Aerial Ace attack. And, well... That's not going to work because this Pokemon is going to be using a Detect Attack and, well, that's not, yeah, it protected itself. I think it has like two free turns and then after that it just, the accuracy goes down and down. So, there you go, Aerial Ace does it for the win. And, well, look at this, Starblade grows to level 29 and he's about to come out with a Machop. So, we're just going to continue on using Starblade, you know, as an apology because unfortunately, yes, we kind of used them for like... Yeah, we weren't paying attention or anything. My bad. Oh, yeah, my bad. Okay, so there we go. More points, and he's going to be coming out with another Metatite, so let's go ahead and continue on with uh, Starblade right here. And here comes a Faint Attack. Okay, so that wasn't that strong. So here comes Aerial Ace, and there you go. Aerial Ace does its trick. Metatite has been defeated. And, well, there we go, more points, and Gregory has been defeated. He bows to us, he's like, Gurgle! Okay, he was gurgling and stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that item, and if only Gabite would just move out of the way. And here it is, guys, we found ourselves a Fist Plate, which, of course, can go to uh, Arceus eventually, if we ever get it, somehow, play that game. We still haven't played that game either. So, we got a lot of catching up to do, guys. Anywho, here we are taking on Black Built Derek, and he is going to be coming out with a Krogunk. And this Pokemon is looking pretty mean. Look at him. I wonder how Brock's uh, Krogunk, uh, you know, puts up with Brock. And, well, here's an Intimidate. And Anticipation. I, I don't know what Anticipation does, but we're going to be using this. Aerial Ace Attack for the win. And just like that, yes, another victory for us. And, well, we're getting some more points. Black Belt Derek is, well, he's looking. He's like, you dueled his sharpness. Yes, I did. I did. What now? Okay, so let's move on. And, well, there's an area right here where you can cut and grab a few berries. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a shortcut or something. But here you're going to be finding yourself two berries, one of them being blood berries. And I'm going to just grab that. And we're going to grab these. And we got two P.E.K.K.A. Berries. And that right there helped us out. Is going to help us out. And if we go up... Wow. Forgot. I completely forgot about this. Yes. Uh, we need repels. And lots of them. Lots of repels. Lots and lots of repels. Okay. So, yes. I am not going to be taking on this Pokemon right here. Because it's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, let's go ahead and do that. Come on. There you go. Say goodbye. Okay, so let's go right here. And we will be able to find ourselves a guard spec. Alrighty. So I'll be right back with you guys. The time limit's about to hit, so I'll be back in like a second. Okay, so we're back, guys. And uh, something that came to my, my attention... Uh, recently while I was just playing games and stuff or just watching YouTube uh, Pokemon speedrunning somebody had to ask me about that would I ever do it and I'm just like nope 
Again, I got no time for any of that stuff, guys. Uh, I know it sounds boring and all that stuff, but uh, I'm a very, very, very busy man. And I, I have seen some speed runs. I didn't know that it was like a, a huge thing when it comes to like world records and all that stuff. Uh, something that I did watch was, let me see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. There was a uh, YouTuber called Abyssoft. Shout out to Abyssoft. He kind of debunked somebody who was just, what, like, uh, cheating on the speedrun. I didn't even know that you could cheat in a speedrun, too. It would it would seem that, like, it would seem that there's codes going into it. And my biggest, my biggest thing is this, like, okay, how do kids now know how to do code, especially for these games? Like, again, I, I, I have a life myself, and... I don't necessarily pay attention to a lot of these things. In fact, uh, this is the reason to why a lot of you guys, well, you know, some guys, some people would say that, you know, Draven doesn't know how to play you, uh, play Pokemon. It's like, no, I only have time to play the games. I don't have the time to really nitpick and really look into, like, the nooks and crannies of a game. But nowadays, you got people just, like, really, really investigating these things. So, yeah, I saw a video about that, and I was like, uh, well, you know, I guess even speedruns can be uh, can be found to be cheating or something like that. I don't even know. So, what is your opinion on that? Cheaters, speedruns, all that stuff. I mean, I thought the speedrun would be like using the speed button like I, I normally do. But no, it's like a normal game running through this without getting beaten and everything. And then I guess like they really test the frames for second and everything. I'm just like, how do they, like how do they know? How does this, like how does this all get debunked? Again, I'm, I guess I'm old. <laughs> I guess I'm old. And, well, there we go. We have defeated Black Belt Nathaniel. And uh, a loss is a loss. He's accepting his defeat. That is good. That is fantastic. Okay, so let's move on. And, well, uh, yes, we're going to be using another repel because we don't want to get attacked by any of the Pokemon. And let's go ahead and use this. Now, my question, too, is, is there a speed run in these games right here? Oh, look at that found ourselves a TM-34 Shockwave. Kind of like Aerial Ace, he will not miss. And, well, let's see, if we take on this guy. Uh, looked at you very happily, okay. Uh, jogging is good for you, but you have to make sure you don't over, you're not overdoing it. I remember doing that as a kid some, one time. I overdid it, and well, here we are, finding ourselves a full heal. That right there will help us out, and, oh wow. Yeah, we're going to be battling these two. It, like, automatically did that. Okay, so our final battle for this episode. We're going to be taking on uh, Ace Trainers Dennis and Maya. And, wow, they're coming out with Monferno and uh, that kitty cat Pokemon right there. And, well, I think we have the advantage right now. Alrighty, so it's raining. Intimidate. Uh, okay, so everything's working to our advantage. Let's go right ahead and use an Aerial Ace onto this guy, and huh. let's let's go with the Curse. Let's see what that does. So Curse, who will it hit? Of course, we take half of our HP, and the Aerial Ace has done its trick right there. And who, like again, who's gonna be cursed? And look at this. Smoke grows to level 31. And here comes a Fury Swipe attack, which misses. And here comes a Gyarados. Holy crud. Okay, so... Yeah, we are we are in some kind of a territory right here where... Yeah, he's... Gyarados is a pretty strong Pokemon right itself. And I guess... I guess the Curse attack worked on... The Curse attack worked on Monferno rather than, you know, that Glammeo and all that stuff. So... Here we go, Aerial Ace does that trick, and it just copied our it's Aerial Ace right there, so here comes a Bite Attack, and... Oh, yeah, we survived. So, let's see. Let's go with this, and let's go with a Shadow Punch onto that guy. So, here we go, Shadow Punch. And that... Oh, crud. Alright, so there we go, Glammeow has been defeated. And... Who is next? Bite attack yet again. Unfortunately, smoke wasn't strong enough, so it has to faint. Bye bye. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with uh, let's go with toothless right here. 
All right, Toothless, let's go. Let's get it. And here comes a Kadabra. All right, so two very, very strong Pokemon right here. Let's go with an Aerial Ace onto Kadabra. And let's go with a Dragon Breath onto Gyarados right here. So let's go. Aerial Ace does the trick. Kine uh, Kinesis avoids, or we avoid that. Here comes a Dragon Breath. And that right there is a critical hit. And, it, oh, crap, Baskets. Wow. Who never thought that this Gyarados is the total package? Oh, God. Okay, so, Aerial Ace again. Dragon Breath. Let's go. Yes. Yes, the Quick Claw worked. All right, time to eat this Dragon Breath. Feel the burp of, the burp of life, and, oh, God. Gyarados is a survivor. Okay. So, we learned something. And uh, Toothless grows to level 28. And here comes a Bite Attack. Oh, so it spared my Pokemon. Okay. Here we go. Aerial Ace and finish it off with the Dragon Breath. How did you survive? All right. Aerial Ace. God dang, Gyarados doesn't want to die. All right. All right. And look at that. Hydra grows to level 27. And Starblade joins the level 30 club. Yes, we are victorious. Yeah, they made us work for that one right there. Holy buckets. Okay. All right. So let's move on right here. And there are two berries that we can grab. And, well, there it is. Two wiki berries. And we're going to go right here. Two mago berries. And that right there will be the end of our little adventure right here. And... What can we find? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there are some Pokemon in the way. True. True. So, here we are, guys, in Veilstone City. Now, there is something that you can grab right up here. I, I thought that you could. Okay, so I was thinking about something else. But you'll see Team Galactic right around here. And, yes, there is a gym in this area. Now, if we can only find the Pokemon Center, that'd be great. And, uh, well, would you look at that? There is a Pokemon Center. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going straight to the Pokemon uh, gym. And we're going to get our next badge. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.